Hello, my name is Dr. Vlasis Ninios. I'm an interventional cardiologist from Greece, Thessaloniki. Currently, I'm uh, working as a trainer uh, for mitral valve uh, repair uh, procedure, percutaneous procedure, which means that this is a procedure that aims to repair the mitral valve without an open surgery from the groin with a single puncture. Uh, that means this procedure is a safe procedure, much safer than the operation, helps to improve the quality of life, to improve the symptoms of the patient and prolong the patient's life and also facilitating very good recovery uh, from the operation, very quick recovery and a safe discharge home within a couple of days. The way we do the procedure is we put uh, a little tube in the groin uh, with local anesthetic and then we go through the veins of the body up to the heart. We are able to puncture the membrane that separates the two atria, which are the chambers at the back, on, back end of the heart. And then once we're in the left atrium, which is the left side, we're above the mitral valve, we're able to deliver a clip, which is a little device that aims to bring the two leaflets of the mitral valve together. This way we create a bridge that um, connects the two leaflets and uh, we manage to um, ensure that the valve closes uh, adequately, seals uh, during the heart systole. The problem with the mitral regurgitation is that the one when the heart uh, functions, the valve is leaking backwards into the lungs, creating a lot of problems with the breathing and of course that leads to heart failure. By stopping the mitral regurgitation, what we do is we reduce this uh, to a minimum and this way the patient feels a lot better, is able to mobilize and uh, uh, lives longer, avoids complications like pulmonary edema, avoids getting into the hospital with symptoms of heart failure. The procedure is very safe, much safer than having an operation. The chances of having a complication from the procedure are very, very small. Uh, the patients recover very quickly from the procedure because they don't have any wounds, they don't have any stitches. Uh, they're, able, they're able to walk even on the same day. We don't puncture the artery, which is one big problem. The arteries, as you know, are vessels with very high pressure, so when you puncture them you have a risk of bleeding. We don't have that risk of bleeding with this procedure because we puncture a vein, which is a low pressure vessel. The other thing is we don't use any contrast like we do, for example, with angiograms and angioplasties or percutaneous operations of the aortic valve. And the reason for that is because all this procedure is guided by ultrasound, so we don't need the contrast to see. This is very important because the contrast causes uh, potentially complications such as kidney failure, and we don't have these problems. If we look at the statistics um, in Europe and in the States, only a very small number of patients with mitral leak, mitral regurgitation, are actually being treated. There's a huge number of patients that are not being treated because they are considered too high risk to have an operation. This is a huge group of patients. These patients are quite frequently young people in the age of 40s or 50s uh, that have some form of heart uh, condition like a cardiomyopathy or suffered heart attack and they've got heart failure and of course these are patients that are not functional and their life is at risk. Mitral clip is aiming towards this procedure now for a country like Romania with a population over 20 million there's a certain huge unmet clinical need for treatment of mitral regurgitation and I believe that there is a potential uh, and the need to do many, many procedures over the next few months. So I think uh, the patients need to be aware that this procedure exists. They need to come to the center. They need to be informed about uh, the, the, the procedure details, uh, whether they're suitable for that or not. In this way, uh, many lives can be saved.